Hello, everybody. My name is Natasha, and His Royal Highness Prince Bertie the Frog has commanded me to tell you the story, Nori, of the Gingerbread Man. It's a story about a little piece of gingerbread who had legs and could run very fast. Now, as you may know, Bertie lives on a pond where none of the creatures can hardly run at all. Tim the tadpole is too young to have any legs. Colin the carp can only swim, and Bertie hops and swims. So they are all very curious to hear how a piece of gingerbread can run. Once upon a time, there was an old man and an old woman and a little boy. One morning, the old woman made some gingerbread in the shape of a man. She added icing for his hair and clothes, and little blobs of dough for his nose and eyes. When she put him in the oven to bake, she said to the little boy, "You watch the gingerbread man, while your grandfather and I go out and work in the garden." So the old man and the old woman went out and began to dig potatoes, and left the little boy to tend the oven. And he started to daydream and didn't watch it all the time. And all of a sudden, he heard a noise, and he looked up, and the oven door popped open, and out of the oven jumped the gingerbread man and went rolling along end over end toward the open door of the house. The little boy ran after him as fast as he could manage. Crying out to his grandparents, who heard the noise and threw down their spades in the garden and gave chase too, but the gingerbread man outran all three a long way and was soon out of sight, while they had to sit down all out of breath on a bank to rest. On went the gingerbread man, and by and by he came to two men digging a well, who looked up from their work and called out. Where are you going, gingerbread man? He said. I've outrun an old man, and an old woman, and a little boy, and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? We'll see about that," said they, and they threw down their picks and ran after him, but couldn't catch up with him, and soon they had to sit down by the roadside to rest. On ran the gingerbread man, and by and by he came to two men digging a ditch. "Where are you going, gingerbread man?" said they. He said, "I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers, and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? We'll see about that," said they. And they threw down their spades and ran after him too, but the gingerbread man soon outstripped them also, and seeing that they could never catch him, they gave up the chase and sat down to rest. On went the gingerbread man, and by and by he came to a bear. The bear said, "Where are you going, gingerbread man?" he said. I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers, and I can outrun you too. Oh, you can, can you? Growled the bear. We'll see about that. And trotted as fast as his legs could carry him after the gingerbread man, who never stopped to look behind him. Before long. The bear was left so far behind that he thought he might as well give up the hunt sooner rather than later. So he stretched himself out by the roadside to rest. On went the gingerbread man, and by and by he came to a wolf. The wolf said, "Where are you going, gingerbread man? I've outrun an old man." And an old woman, and a little boy, and two well diggers, and two ditch diggers, and a bear, and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? 
snarled the wolf. We'll see about that. And he set into a gallop after the gingerbread man, who went on and on so fast that the wolf, too, saw there was no hope of overtaking him, and he, too, lay down to rest. On went the gingerbread man, and by and by he came to a fox that lay quietly in a corner of the fence. The fox called out in a sharp voice, but without getting up. Where are you going, gingerbread man? he said. I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too, the fox said. I can't quite hear you, gingerbread man. Won't you come a little closer? Turning his head a little to one side. The gingerbread man stopped his race for the first time and went a little closer and called out in a very loud voice, I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too. I can't quite hear you. Won't you come a little closer? said the fox in a feeble voice as he stretched out his neck towards Gingerbread Man and put one paw behind his ear. The Gingerbread Man came up close and leaning towards the fox screamed out, I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? yelped the fox and he snapped up the gingerbread man in his sharp teeth in the twinkling of an eye. And that was the story, Nori, of the gingerbread man. I think that the ending is rather sad. But Bertie doesn't agree. He says that gingerbread is extremely tasty. And he doesn't blame that fox at all for wanting to eat it. Anyway, I'll be back with another story, Nori, soon. In the meantime, you can find loads more stories and poems on storynori.com. Most of them have happy endings, but they are all absolutely free. So tell all your friends to visit storynori.com. For now, from me, Natasha, bye-bye.